he fought this guy first. Yeah. And then we, because we expected him to regenerate, mm -hmm. we keep it in here yep. with basically in chains with rope in ropes. It was entangled by ropes. Meanwhile, our two young ladies were in the tower playing Star Wars on the <laughs> yeah. on, on the skeletons. Right. Yeah. I think technically you're younger than Emily, I'm not quite sure. I'm 26. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You might be slightly older. Got it. <laughs> Emily um, Emily also is not a child. <laughs> good. But young, you will always be a young lady. Cool. Hmm. Uh, and eventually, I think, we reached the time of night. Yep. I guess that's where we left. I think that I don't remember. Right. I don't remember if we took care of this guy again or not. To be honest, uh, did we fight him twice? I think we did. I think we fought him twice. I yeah, you fought did, him yes. twice. He's okay. a so the... we were getting ready to transport. Yeah, the send statue. out the the pseudo dragon with the strength yeah. of a bear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, who is holding the the idol? I, I'm. I was holding it, right? Yeah, I have it. Okay. It's kind of so, gross. Emily doesn't want to touch it. Uh, the, the night is is falling, and now it's starting to be dark. Uh, you have uh, Tony um, night vision, dark vision, don't you? Right? No, I don't. <coughs> oh, you don't. No, halflings do not have that. Uh, okay. Nope. So, ah, halfling. Yeah, sorry. So anyway, there are there are a few shadow and. Uh, and uh, lights uh, from the skeletons you have burned and they are finishing to, to consume themselves. And uh, it's, it's a bit dark inside the church, uh, but uh, you see a, a slight faint light uh, coming out of, uh, of uh, the eyes of the idol and then the mouth and then it starts to grow, grow, grow and fully engulf all the surroundings are, are around you. It's a blue-green light. And you guys are starting to feel extremely, extremely bad suddenly. It's an horrible nausea. And, and you have headaches. And it's, 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 it's unbearable. Uh, and um, your sight is a bit altered with the vision of shadows. Uh, and uh, your, your feeling is a feeling of oppression. Um, you, you feel very, very weakened by this, uh, this terrible, terrible, uh, almost solid light that is uh, uh, filling suddenly uh, the church. And, uh, All from the idol, you're saying? Say it again. From the yes, idol? Yes, from the yes, statue. from the yeah. statue. It's and producing the a green light that is engulfing the whole church. Yeah. And it's making us feel like shit. Yes, Andrea is, a, is translating for me. That's because he's. A, <laughs> no, 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 no. I understand totally my accent. I, uh, uh, Emily is horrified because green is really not her color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, yeah. with her ladylike, with her ladylike voice and her cute manner, says, "Holy shit! What the fuck?" <laughs> it's probably accurate. Yes. And, uh, and looks, and at, looks at Emily. And you have goose, uh, goosebumps uh, on your skin, and uh, like uh, your blood is, uh, is is really dancing, uh, uh, ready to to go out of uh, of its envelope. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. So, like, right on the hour or so, like the sun sets and it starts doing it, kind of thing. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. Do we so have to roll I, any saves or anything? I, I don't I don't know. Emily, just put these things on your dragon. Poor little guy. Can he even carry it with this kind of <laughs> terrible the, color scheme? <laughs> the the idol is uh, roughly the, the size of a uh, head, so you probably uh, can load it on the dragon. Can or can't? Can, can. Okay. Well, as long as it has the strength of a bear. Yes. Um, how does this thing has a, a strength of a bear? Remind me. Strength of a bear. Um, was that Becky pulls out a piece of, I don't know, some hair or fur, whatever it come from, and mm -hmm. uh, she says some um, divine words and touches said pseudo dragon, and okay. now 
it has well i'm basically casting enhance ability when when did you cast this uh, exactly i mean just now if uh, need be the very, there is a slight problem is that uh, all your abilities uh, are, are really uh, weakened ah. by the power of uh, this uh, solid light that is really like uh, punching you from right on left. Right. Yeah. Um, so I don't it, I cast the spell. The, it's the closest thing to uh, radiation you guys are experiencing uh, in this world. Uh, can we get away from it? Can we can we kind of walk away and cast the spell and come back? Yeah. But I'm really starting to worry that maybe this little guy cannot carry it. No, he will be. The, Once he gets the, the power of a bear. Well, like the bear is good, but like a radiation sick bear might not be able to fly for a significant <laughs> distance with it is the problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who is a seasick uh, among you uh, at, at this point, but it's really... Not, uh, if somebody has eaten... Uh, uh, a few few minutes ago, I think the, the food is coming back. Oh, luckily, Emily doesn't eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Zie, are you with us? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. You said that there is a light and we feel so bad, right? Yeah. Do we have to do something? Uh, you have to do nothing. You're just uh, like not we, feeling we, well. <laughs> yeah, we can't stay here forever, guys. If you can't send this to the ship, I will just crash it. Uh, good luck with that. What, um, what do you mean? No, no, no. Let's not. <laughs> let's not do that. I don't. I don't think that would work. Even it's going to come back until yeah. the curse is broken. And what about the creatures that we tied with a rope and burning right now? Indeed, uh, you, have, uh, you have flames uh, coming out of, uh, of a big body that you, you have <laughs> burnt. And, uh, I forgot and we the burnt The smell it. is not so nice, actually. Uh, I poured oil on it and burned it as soon as it uh, woke up. So he's tied oh. and burning. Yeah. I, I missed that detail. Interesting. <laughs> Poor guy. He's just cursed too, after all. Uh, if you burn him, he's going to burn your, you know, the ropes as well. He's going to be running around. Oh, oh we, we, killed, we killed him again. We killed him again. Well, it's easy to say, but how many times do we have to kill him? <laughs> do we get experience points each time? Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys are uh, slightly, uh, uh, you are not that optimistic of uh, another fight because you, you really feel like yeah. impeded and just uh, heavy. Can we, can we step out of the chapel or maybe like go up into the bell tower or something? Do we feel better then? Uh, let me see, yes, uh, you can try it. Yeah, the bell tower works. So indeed, uh, you are, you are proce proceeding uh, to the bell tower. Who is holding the, um, uh, the idol? Tony is still holding the idol? What, what do you do? I'm just like, to put be it honest, on the three-finger body let, or something. Yeah, to be honest, I, I, I let it slip on the ground because I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and absolutely. It, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, holding uh, rods of uh, uranium uh, full power. It's just... Yeah, that's a terrible feeling every time um, I do that. So you all guys are, are going uh, up the tower and uh, indeed uh, when you, you start to reach uh, some uh, shadowy corners, um, you, you feel a bit, a bit better, you <sighs> feel the difference. Shouldn't we ring the bell because that's what the creature do? Usually, again? the creature usually rings the bell at 7 p.m. So maybe if we ring the bell at the bell tower. So indeed, you arrive to a platform and on the, the bell and uh, the cord is in front of you. Like if we do the same thing that he usually does, probably the the bad feeling will go away. And uh, actually, when you look a bit um, above uh, the, the, the walls, uh, through the, the large windows of, of uh, the bell towers, you see really huge blocks of uh, bluish uh, green light uh, going out of uh, each uh, windows in uh, every direction. You know, from I'm trying to recall back, my character, uh, Cal, is trying to recall back from the past couple of days when I know we've seen this green light before. Do we typically see the green light all night long or just for a short period of time? No, all, all, night, all night. Well, the, 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 as long as you were outside during the night, you, you, you remember the was. Okay, thanks. So right. should, we, should we ring the bell or not? Why not? <laughs> I, bells are, bells I are nice. 
I still suggest trying to use the dragon to bring that idol. Mm. But if it will ship. stop the dragon feeling sick the whole time, that would be pretty nice. But we can certainly there try. Is it, it, it there is only one out. way to. There is only one way to see if it works or not. I agree. Let's try it. So at least me and uh, Becky are up there. Emily and Becky are up there. Okay. Uh, kind of like reaches uh, okay. for the rope. It's a little bit far. Kind of looks at Becky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she'll send out the her her mage hand to kind of bring bring it a little closer, and uh, kind of hold out one end for Becky to share in the pulling. All right, my dear. Shall we? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ding dong. So uh, you you arrive uh, close to, to, to the bell and indeed uh, you, you expect uh, something to collapse on you or just to disintegrate in another dimension because you're optimistic. And so you, 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 you about to, to ring the bell and uh, there is a huge uh, ding dong uh, resonating and uh, killing almost your ears. And Actually, if you turn uh, towards the east, you start to see in the horizon uh, a small boat, far, oh. far small boat with a, a glow, greenish glow as well, uh, coming towards the coast. The bell calls the boat. Mm. Aha, a piece of mystery. That feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Nice find. Um, good, good thing we actually rang that bell. Can so are, are we feeling roll a, an insight for me, an insight check? Uh, that would be uh, mm? uh, anyone uh, who is uh, looking outside the, the, the window and can see the boat. Insight? Yeah. I'm oh, sure it's not perception. Tony. Not, not perception? Uh, that's good, that's good insight. Um, Tony thinks that, uh, oh, this is definitely linked. This is definitely linked. And I believe that uh, 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 this is probably the fisherman uh, has something to do with this idol. Yeah. 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 We figured that much. <laughs> I feel very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Guys, I just figured something out! <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Right, um, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So, right, do you want to send it out? Um, let me ask, is, so does the sickening feeling remain? Uh, it depends on who is the position where. If you are in the, the higher tower, it's, it's a bit more bearable. But uh, as you start uh, going down the stairs, it's starting to, to, to be the same feeling that uh, actually you, you don't want to experience again. Oh, poor little Bran. We could take the uh, statue down into the basement behind that big thick door temporarily while you guys cast spells and then bring it I mean, we can, ca we can cast the spell up in the bell tower. Okay. It lasts yeah. an hour, you said, I think? Yeah. Okay. So that should be enough to get him out there, if he can deal with it. Uh, Let's try. So the, yeah. idol, the idol is down or up now? It's down right now. Okay, you put it on the ground, down. Okay. All right, so um, Emily will explain to, to her, her little pseudo dragon brand. That, uh, about what's going on and uh, that they really need his help and uh, so that, <coughs> very very that, sorry for this horrible feeling he's probably getting but uh, we think if uh, you know you know etc etc um, if we can uh, get this thing to that fisherman out there nobody will ever have this feeling again which would be amazing so that's a pep talk to your dragon yes poor little guy is he obedient uh, blindly or um, well, I mean, technically, the thing with a familiar is it's not actually a living creature. It is like fey energy. It's like a fey spirit. Ah, okay, okay. Um, in my case, fey, because I, I have a fey patron. Uh, so it's not actually like a 
yeah, like a, a creature with like like a full like life experience and all of that. So I I, I think basically it's obedient, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so your dragon is uh, looking at you, and uh, you are not entirely sure whether there was a throne or not on his face, but uh, <laughs> he's going to, uh, to obey. You, you're the GM, though. You, you, you can make the call. But uh, for, for what it's worth, familiars are not actually living creatures. They are fey energy or demonic okay. energy. What about okay. their magic? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, they are magic. Are they magic? They, they are, yeah, they're... they're... I mean... Yeah, technically, it was born from a spell. Yeah. Kind of. Mm, okay. That's why I can send it away and, and summon it back and all of that, too. Okay. So just bring so, bringing back the Fey energy. Remind me who is where and uh, what is everybody doing? We right, are so... in, the, in the tower, actually. I guess most we're in of the us. tower then. Everybody yeah. is in the tower and the yeah. idol is uh, lying on the floor alone. Yeah, just... around here. Uh, I just put it. Cal will stay down just to keep watch down below and oh, shout if okay. anything happens. Okay. What's good man, good man. It's the idol. Yeah, yeah, that's the idol. Okay. So you guys uh, can elaborate your strategy uh, while you're in the, in the tower. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So once the pep talk is done, mm. uh, Emily will look at uh, Becky and kind of give a, give a grim nod. Yep. Becky okay. I think he's together. as ready as he'll ever be. Yeah, Becky wraps together her um, palms and then um, does the voodoo that she do mm. and uh, lays a hand on said pseudo dragon. His name was what? Bran. Wan, okay. Bran, B R A N. Ah, Bran, okay. Bran, all right. Um, lays a finger on Bran and uh, casts. Um, bear strength. I mean, it's called bull strength, but I'm calling it bear strength. The target okay. has advantage on strength <laughs> checks, and his or her carrying capacity doubles. Uh, just uh, one thing, uh, Becky Ray, is that uh, you you feel a very um, okay. not in your best concentration uh, with uh, all this thing. Uh, uh, well, you said being um, close to the statue gives me nausea, but we are like. I'm trying to do this away from the statue as much as possible. Well, you still, it's uh, like if you are closed on, actually, if you are in the chapel, it's its pretty bad. There okay. are a different level of bad, but you are still affected for your your spell. Right. Do I roll for, for like concentration or something? Yes, let's do that. And actually, there is a disadvantage, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. It's okay. I'm a sorceress. I got this. Okay. But maybe not. Uh, don't know. Disadvantage, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah, disadvantage. Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not good. It's an 11. Does it, is it an average one? Like a 10 makes it usually, right? I don't know. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'll give it to you. You barely, barely, like, uh, the, the, the thing is... Is kind of vibrating. The, the the dragon is vibrating, then going back to normal strength and vibrating back to uh, being like a, a strong, uh, strong animal. Uh -huh. and, Stronger uh, than he's uh, ever been. It like it's double his normal strength of six. <laughs> yeah, it inflates yes. and it deflates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everybody is uh, like hanging, uh, whether it will uh, get the strength of uh, of what uh, a bear and. Uh, Everybody has it's his mouth open and uh, with great expectation is waiting for something to see and and, and yes 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 oh. apparently <laughs> going through. I try to concentrate yeah. on the spell as best as I can. Yeah. So it, yeah. actually, it's not strength of a bear. It's strength of a, double strength of a pseudo dragon, which is still only like a twelve. It's like normal human strength. I mean, so, he has advantage <laughs> on strength checks. Oh, uh, nice. Whatever. So, Yes. So so yes, you, you managed to 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 pull the to to shoot the to fire the, the spell through. Ugh. Right. Well I feel really bad. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I feel bad too. Emily feels oh. so bad that she'll even like brave going back down and um help making sure that uh, Bran gets a good hold on the it's a good hold on the thing. Maybe okay. you can reuse uh, his little... as you, as How about you just try to tie it to him because you know. <laughs> Just in okay. case. 
I don't, I don't know what it's going to be like when he gets out to the boat. He might have to just drop it. Uh, well, that's true. So just mm. to say that your brand is uh, is also shaky and, and you see him uh, uh, almost losing its balance uh, while it's uh, walking, flying towards, uh, towards the idol where you, you point him to. Oh, this is not going to go well. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> I did not know this was part of the thing. <laughs> uh, but we will try. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can he get in the air? Does what is, does he seem to think he can do it? Does he have a, with his limited, limited telepathy? Does he seem to have the? He, he has uh, the same uh, stat uh, sheet uh, as uh, any character. Uh, I mean, he's a pseudo dragon. Yeah, no, you I can mean, look up pseudo dragon. Yeah. For it's uh, yes, okay, so yeah, he it, should have. He's, uh, he's not a character. He's like like we find him in the monster. Um, um, have you been? You guys have been using the compendium at all? Yeah. 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 Uh, There's actually you can search for pseudo dragon. It gives yeah, you so nice pseudo dragons right right in the compendium. You can yeah. pseudo dragon. Okay. Wow, he has minus two strength. Wow. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> now well, it's plus one, I believe. <laughs> no, it just. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really. S I mean, increase the strength score. Mm, it's just strength. Wouldn't you get a uh, fifteen times six for for weight? Yeah. Yeah. So that, basically, right? he can now yeah, carry okay. double. Yeah. So yeah, it would be ninety. Statue. So he can now one hundred and eighty pounds, I guess. No, uh, that's good. That's good. There's no no problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, pseudo dragon is. Uh... Oh, he has magic resistance. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. That's true. Magic that's resistance. Fun. Oh, that's fun. Frog and spin. <laughs> it may be very useful. Yeah, and sting. Yes, <laughs> wow, it can poison as sting. well. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Pseudo Actually, are... he has a strength minus two. That's interesting. Okay. That's why we wanted to use this spell. Yeah, yeah. So that would be a 12, okay. Uh, but uh, then you have to take into account that he's uh, apparently also mildly affected by uh, by this thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why we're worried. Okay, so yes. So he's, he's trying to, to show a good face that uh, he will obey uh, his mistress. Go, Bran! Yeah. Uh, Team here. <laughs> you see your pseudo dragon actually uh, sweating quite a lot. Uh, because... <laughs> Do dragons sweat? <laughs> yes, it's pretty, it's pretty anxious about having this uh, kind of uh, Hiroshima bomb uh, right uh, on top of his back. But uh, I mean, it will yeah. be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> it's obedient. Right, her, so... her, right, right. And Emily is a little verklempt at the moment. She's just like, oh, you poor baby. Yeah. 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 So the blue yeah. guy is tied up and is unconscious right now. I guess yeah. we, we pew pewed all the skeletons, but it's getting nighttime again, right? Yeah, it's nighttime again, but it's just like the same light that is uh, like full in well, your face. Really. Here goes nothing, guys. Fly, little man. Make me proud. Okay. So you 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 tied the the idol to, in the back uh, of a pseudo dragon. Uh, if that's necessary, no, like they have they not. have like little hands. Um, I, I wasn't sure if this ghost sailor would be able to untie something. So if uh, that's that's a bit bizarre. Yes, uh, so <laughs> yeah, I think it's better just to have your. Pseudo dragon like use its well, no talons, I guess. It has something to grab stuff. Maybe we could we could tie a rope around the thing in order so so it like it has straps it can hang on to instead of trying to hang on to a head. <coughs> like put it in a little bag or something. Mm. Mm, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. That's a good idea. So we can hang on easily. Or maybe even like ha hang a little satchel around its neck, like and a handkerchief around its neck so it can kind of wriggle it off if it had to. <laughs> Oh, cat, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, your your pseudo dragons are hearing what you are doing to mm. your brother. <laughs> go dragon! <laughs> go, go, little dragon! 
Hats. Hell could, could empty his backpack, and you could use the empty backpack. If that's I'm, uh, Emily. Emily has a handkerchief. We could like tie it up in a handkerchief and tie the handkerchief around the dragon's neck or something, okay. and it could kind of kind of shake it off or work it off when it gets that far if it had to. I think. All right. Is that our plan? We Sounds good to go. Like a plan. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. I'm so... trying my best to concentrate on this spell. Yeah, if you if you need to stay back, stay back to keep this spell going. Emily oh, will do definitely. the dirty work. Yep. She'll actually use her mage hand for the most part. Because she doesn't actually want to touch this disgusting thing. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. All right, all right. So come on, someone could describe to me what uh, what you are doing exactly with uh, the dragon on the idol? The idol is going into a cloth or handkerchief, yep. which it will then be tied up on. So the dragon doesn't actually have to touch it. Um, Okay. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of like shake it off his neck if he needs to. Like, for example, if the uh, the ghost fisherman is like in some sort of loop and unable to act for itself, oh. uh, him, it's itself, himself. I'm not quite sure what pronouns would be used for ghosts these days. Um, uh, that's the idea. So the dragon mm. can slough it off. He can kind of like shake it off if he has to. Okay. But it should it should be on there fairly solidly otherwise. Yeah, didn't okay. the fisherman have like a net that he was like throwing into the sea, right? So maybe yeah. just, you know, shake it off somewhere like around the net. It's like <gasps> right in, you know? into the net, yeah. Yeah, that would be great. That sounds like a really good idea. I like that. So it okay. seems like he found it. That would be good good ghost completion, I think. Okay, okay, got it. Uh all right, so everything is, is set and you are still this uh, massive uh uh, light uh, in your face that is like uh, punching you from right on left. Um, you you pick your dragon or you 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 make him fly. How does it work? Yeah, yeah. She'll uh, she, she's making him do it, so she'll force herself through being close to it okay. um, until she sends him off. But you know, take him. Do we kill all the skeletons? I can't remember. If it's not safe to go outside, then we'll do it from the bell tower. But if it is safe to go outside, she'll just take him out far enough to. I think you 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 watch. really you really cleaned the, the area. Maybe I there are a few have. lonely yeah. skeletons around there, but. Um, okay, then yeah. uh, she'll just take him outside and help him launch. Okay. Wish him, wish him luck. You know, be all like, "Oh my baby, be good, be safe." Ah. Uh, luckily for you, apparently the dragon has uh, well understood uh, the instruction in spite of all this uh, nauseous uh, light. Uh, you see basically the, the block of light uh, that is engulfing, uh, like making a big, big sphere around your dragon. And uh, it, it, it appears like a, a small dark dot uh, uh, going away with this big, huge, huge blue green sphere. Uh, flying away a bit awkwardly because uh, it's, uh, as it like gets it's... further away, we feel better. Yeah, just um, you, you feel a bit better. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good. Some kind of relief. And some more um, crosses your mind the idea that maybe the dragon is not feeling uh, that well either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Emily's is well, will stay. She can't, I think their telep telepathic link goes for about 100 feet. <laughs> which isn't all that far, but you know, she'll stay with him and encouraging him and sending her love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. little baby. Yeah, uh, actually, you see the dragon uh, coming back uh, towards you. The, the light, you don't understand why the big, big light is uh, is coming. No, back. no, no, the other way. <laughs> Seriously, he comes back. Not yeah, yeah. Apparently, something, uh, something uh, is coming back, and that's your dragon. You, you, you couldn't believe uh, at first, and just uh, uh. like what, what. He can't. He can't do it. And uh, unfortunately, you 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 are you are, you are very sad, and you see your dragon, and he's kind of happy, and he's he's sort of lying on, on the floor with uh, uh, the, the statue that is also blinding you somehow, and uh, he's kind of uh, nauseous. You you see you see your dragon uh, lying on the floor uh, with his tongue or whatever he has in his mouth. <laughs> Okay, well, the statue yeah. says no, I guess. Hey, All right. Just one, one question of, of uh, Tawny. Um, Tawny, yeah. Tawny, I think it was curing the hand. Are you holding the hand? Yes. Tawny? Are you holding the hand at the moment? I have it on my back. Up. Okay, uh, maybe take it out and see if that makes you feel any better. Yeah, okay. So, GM, 
I take yep. out the hand. Okay. And see if. So it helps. you do have, uh, from a, a game perspective, you do have seven charges on this hand, and uh, you can use one on you. The protection from good and evil, though, I thought doesn't take a charge. It's just sort of. Cool. Yeah, it was kind of permanent, right? Yeah, um, as long as you're holding a hand. Right. Yes. So. I want to hold your hand. Indeed, uh, you, you are kind of uh, feeling. Uh, uh, you 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 find some kind of relief. You you are aware that uh, uh, this light is really uh, poisonous and, uh, and really toxic. But somehow um, you have a, a small layer all around you that is uh, making you feel a bit safer and a bit better. I see. Interesting. What an interesting thought that was. That was uh, our interesting idea to use the hand. So can a dragon carry a hand? With the strength of a bear. <laughs> can we tie your hand, the hand around its neck? Actually, let, let me try this. I will use one of the charges to cast. Uh, let me check something, sorry. Let me review the item, because I have notes. Is cure wounds, greater restoration with the charges. Heal wounds, greater restoration. OK. Actually, I cast one of my spells. And yeah. I use uh, protection from evil yeah. to the pseudo dragon. Mm. Okay. Uh, and... Also, uh, what? Uh, and... uh, oh, uh, did you roll for it? Uh, um... No, it's it's automatic. It's, it's not a roll. Ah, uh, it's automatic. Um, mm. sh show some kind of uh, magic insight or uh, knowledge. Arcane knowledge? Arcane knowledge, yes. Okay, wait a second. Okay, there we are. Five. No. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you cannot really uh, understand what's going on, but uh, you have a feel that uh, there is some powerful magic uh, <laughs> at play here. Uh, Jim, can I ask You're a question? So smart. Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, does the paladin feel that this uh, light is causing like a disease effect? Is it some sort of a disease that's causing us to all feel weak? Like but, this? Yeah, that's a good question. No, you you feel the, like sick, but it's not causing diseases. Okay, so it, it's poison. It's not poison. It's it's like making you feel sick. Really, it's. Okay, but it's not a disease. Not, not a disease. disease. Or, okay. not a disease. No, you, you are sure that it's not uh, something biological or it's not a biological uh, weaponry. Okay. Okay, thanks. Done. That's not my question. Uh, so, as I was saying, the, the hand is, is kind of uh, uh, having a, a feeble uh, effect all around Tony. Um, of feeling a bit better and a bit protected. It's like, uh, if I could take an image, uh, yourself uh, moving in a, um, with a, a very, very thin protection, but that could be uh, torn apart uh, uh, if you were doing a very fast move or, or fighting, for instance. I have a biohazard switch, basically. Something like that, basically, <laughs> but very fragile. Okay. So it's, uh, it, does that mean that like attaching the hand to the dragon as well would probably wouldn't be sufficient? Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's a good idea. I think uh, it's it's worth a try if you want to to, to go this way. Well, actually, the I can I can cast a spell that gives the same effects. That's that's what's my point. Unless right. it's the hand specifically. Right. Like I, I I wasn't sure it was the the spell. So let's try how the dragon feels now that I cast the spell. Okay, Emily. You 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 you. Uh, sorry, uh, what spell did you cast? Protection from evil. Protection from evil. Yeah, the one I I put in the chat. No, that's uh, that's that's. No change for a dragon. That, that's not really, really, Helping. really, really effective, fortunately. Mm. Apparently, there is a magic that is more powerful than yours. 
But if we okay. put if we put the hand on the dragon, like lay the hand on the dragon, does that seem to help? Um, Let's try uh, it. I suppose that you do so on uh, because uh, I cannot answer you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's try and, it. Uh, and uh, your your dragon uh, is kind of shaking his head uh, like he's uh, coming back to his sense, um, and uh, and feel uh, indeed uh, well. Maybe it's just your psychological interpretation on a kind of self-reflection of uh, what he's thinking. And actually, that's totally different. You don't know. But yeah, your dragon looks like he's doing better. Does, does like Emily, Emily asks him, I guess she probably talks to him out loud so people can kind of hear what she's saying to him. Okay. It's like, do you think that's okay? Could you make it with that? Oh, that's, that's better. Thank you, mistress. How far away is the boat? So it's, it's the and he's kind of cursing in, in his teeth uh, <laughs> that uh, you made him do it uh, without this type of protection first. Oh, my poor baby. I'm so sorry. You poor little guy. It's oh, trial scritchy, error. scritchy, 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 scritchy. <laughs> um, she showers some affection on him. Yeah. <laughs> It has an intelligence of 10, right? Even with, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he's okay with uh, your cuddle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How far does he have to go to get to the boat? Uh, the boat came to us when we rang the bell, is that right? Not to us, it, it appeared oh, on the water. It appeared on the water. Yeah. How far away is it? About? Can we tell? Um, if you're observing uh, through, um, through uh, the tower, I suppose you, you can see it. Uh, Circling uh, around the bay. How far is it? Probably a uh, three hundred meter, two hundred meter, three hundred. Ah, so not impossibly far. No, it's not so far. Oh, that's an interesting information. Just, just, just talking through it. I'm not necessarily suggesting this, but um, is there a way we could walk closer to, you know, by land to get as close as possible? Mm. to the boat and if so how, how close would we be then GM that was for you I think ah that was for me uh, yes. well it's uh, it's you have to try uh, I'm not saying uh, yes I would say yes that's a possibility uh, as well as uh, I don't see why you couldn't why yeah I mean I'm just like you know looking now from the bell tower out to towards the distance where we see the boat yeah. Is there land between us and the boat that looks like if we walked, we could get closer to the to the boat before we let go of the dragon? No, actually no, because the the, the boat is circling. I can maybe show you on uh, yeah. on the map, but it, it doesn't really matter. The the, the boat is sailing, and, and there is no uh, short distance uh, really. Uh, it's not far away from land, but uh, it won't get very close. It's it's like. You get the feel that it's a boat fishing, and a fishing, it's a bit far, further from the coast. Okay, so walking wouldn't help. Okay, that, that answers the question. Wouldn't yeah. help too okay. much, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Is, the, is the dragon feeling okay now? Can we ask if uh, like he or she can carry it back again? The, it's a boy. Yeah, the, the, the dragon looks uh, looks like he's, uh, he's okay, and uh, he's at peace, apparently, at the moment. Well, you guys are really... Uh, uh, containing your uh, your stomach uh, going through the nose and on the mouth. So um, uh, we ask, I ask Bran to please try again. I'm so sorry, so sorry, child. I'll get you some of those yummy little frogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's kind of. Uh, uh, Don't talk about food right now. <laughs> <laughs> understanding that's part of a mission and that's yeah and it's a request and okay so so he's taking his flight and, uh, and you see the, the light uh, um, going away and actually you're not sure whether you are relieved that uh, the dragon is going away or that the light is uh, kind of stopping affecting you as much uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe both. both maybe both maybe both yes let's uh, let's roll for your dragon oh my god it's just uh... Uh, apparently, the, the Mr. Dragon is doing uh, too much effort, and now he's just like he, he, he went uh, less far than the first time, and, and you see the light uh, coming back to you guys. It's just <sighs> all right. We'll do this one more time. Same setup, but this time give the thing guidance. <laughs> you can do that, right? You can. 
Do yeah. your she kind of look, look, looks at Becky. It was, was it Becky who was doing it or Tony? I can't remember. Who who was doing guidance? Uh, wow. We can both do it actually. Ah, I, 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 I can guidance do it. is concentration, isn't it? Yeah, but it's concentration, which is why. So, Becky so I will do it. Yeah. So I will do it. Um, I will cast um, guidance to the dragon. Oh, okay. Okay. One um, more time. Third time. This third actually, time's the charm. Third time is the charm. Okay. I, I don't know if I don't know if the GM will allow me to do this, but Cal wants to go over and give up pep talk to the dragon. <laughs> Say, hey, Thank you. Hey, big guy. You're a bear. I'm a bear. Let's do the <laughs> thing here. And oh, that's very and, nice. That's and, very nice. Yes. Get doing, a little fist pump. <laughs> yeah, fist pump. In doing that, what I'm what I'm trying to do in a meta sense. And this is really up to the jam. Uh, you granted me inspiration last time for yeah. having done the little song. Yeah. Inspiration up to the jam's discretion. You can grant to another player. You can give it away. So I, I'm trying to give my inspiration to the uh, dragon. Uh, I wouldn't uh, accept it, but what I will uh, <laughs> accept is uh, persuasion at a normal uh, uh, normal role instead of disadvantage, and um, I will put it at a DC. What is his, his uh, uh, intelligence ten? So I will put it at uh, that would be against intelligence. Yeah, I will put it at DC ten. Uh, your uh, persuasion role. Am I joining this persuasion as well? Because I have a good persuasion. So... Ah. As a paladin, <laughs> as a mobile let's roll first. Let's roll first for uh, um, for Doran. Okay. For Cal or for Doran? Uh, yeah, me or Cal. Ah, uh, sorry, Cal, Cal. Yeah, okay. Cal, yeah. So, Cal. go first. Yeah, I'm rolling persuasion. Yeah, persuasion, and uh, you have no. Uh, um, you are really yeah. super motivated, and you have your inspiration going on for you, so you will do it at no disadvantage. <laughs> I never knew that Bran liked the manly men. <laughs> yeah. Same taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cedar Dragon is not impressed. <laughs> not, <laughs> not impressed at all. <laughs> Keep your it. damn fist bumps. I'm going to join in that talk then, if you don't mind. Yeah, he's very softly answering to your fist bump. <laughs> let, me, let me try to put the dragon as well. Oh, oh, how about that? Okay. <laughs> Doran, uh, push away Carl's and say, I'm in charge here, guys. If I <laughs> just had someone or something, this is me. Look at the pro. Um, uh, Dragon is kind of actually scared by a big guy in armor. And uh, he's heard stories before. Oh, don't be scared. So just an armor of, to protect uh, me. <laughs> Doran, Doran, what do you do? How do you encourage my, my little dragon? Well, uh, well, as a noble, I have uh, lots of charisma, actually. So when I talk to people, they like uh, they need to listen to me and they feel something good towards me. Like they have to respect. Find. I mean, this is a feature that I have. So basically, the dragon is going to listen to what I'm saying. And I'm like, I'm going to compensate that what you are doing is for a very noble purpose. And we are trying to save this city and to get it back to normal and get rid of all the bad and evil stuff around. And I interrupt Doran and say, I interrupt Doran and say, it's for the noble purpose of saving our asses. Come on, go! All right. So and... Dragon is uh, kind of uh, thinking that it's unbearable to have all these people on his case uh, at this <laughs> point. And he's probably better off flying... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> already when just staying and listening to this bunch of people being bullying him uh, to, to do his task so you, you see you see a small dragon uh, flying away uh, courageously Let's see. Darn, uh, if I can give you a side, a side note oh uh, when when you do that and do it successfully Emily is giving you a look like rather like a uh, a, si a single mom who finds a guy who's good with it, with, good with their kid. Oh. I'm like, oh well, my. We can relate the dragon now, Dora. Well, I found dragon. C congratulations. Well, you will be rewarded for this good deed. As if she is reevaluating re you and finding you worthy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm yeah, just a silent I think guy, a dragon so. role. Um, by the way, he has a D4 plus one. D4 extra on the roll, needless. Uh, how much do you have? Sorry, for you have extra what for the roll? An extra D4. Okay, yeah, uh, Andrea, sorry. Okay. 
Wow. Okay. So as the, as you see, the, actually the, the light uh, kind of uh, coming back towards you, then uh, it kind of uh, stops and, uh, and go back in uh, the other direction towards the boat. Um, and you see this huge, huge sphere now uh, with a small dark dot uh, in the center of it. And uh, it's approaching the boat. And uh, you see actually the sphere uh, going down towards the, the, the water uh, with the, the boat uh, in the middle of the, the radius. Then apparently there is a half sphere. Uh, apparently it's uh, the object is now on, on the boat. And you see, it, it's, it's a bit hard to see, but you see pieces of the boat that are starting to fall apart. And uh, slowly but surely, this boat is actually sinking into the sea. Oh. And the light disappears with it inside the sea. Maybe Randy, we did it, guys. Baby. That was amazing. She like looks at everyone because every single person here did something to help. And she's so impressed with you right now. I jump to high five everyone, everybody, one by one. Yeah. Yeah. Emily will, will lean, lean down to low five you. Lauren <laughs> <laughs> is checking the sky to see if the dragon is okay and coming back safely. I want to check, Master GM. Yes. yes. I want to check the blue guy. Okay. Oh, so you arrived and you see actually uh, not uh, flesh anymore, but uh, just a big uh, um, um, outsized skeleton. Just a skeleton. Yes. No, yeah. It's a skeleton. I guess this is the this is your family. Excellent. Cow. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> and you do see at his finger the, the, the ring, you recognize actually the, the ring that uh, your aunt told you about. I think I cut that off, but okay. Ah, you did? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, you have it, sorry. <laughs> but I'll put it back. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a burning skeleton now because it was burning. It's a burning skeleton. So, so what I suggest, you guys. Uh, you. you... <laughs> I suggest, guys, before calling it done, we should check the city and the see night. whether there are still undeeds around the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to the city or watch. Yeah, we need, we, need, we need to check if the course was really lift. It seems so, but we can't give the well, city to the riders. There's one person we would probably need to check up on. The you remember guy. the mermaid, Anna? Ah, the mermaid. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she should, should check be... the mermaid and and, yeah. uh, and the swamp guy as well. I'd say let's just go to the shore and try to call for her, because because she should be out of her like was it like that cave was her prison or something? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and right. And we we, we can also check on uh, good old uh, what's his name, Patrick. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Old Patrick? Who's that? That's a also, I hmm. think your aunt really wanted us to bring the remains of your family. Yep. Right, Carl? <laughs> yep. Yep. We should uh, figure out some way to box him up. Box I think we can box. use. I think we can use one of the boxes in the downstairs, maybe a small one, and put it there. Yeah, you probably can find something to to stuff. Uh... The, the bones inside there's no you you will probably find something something yeah <laughs> okay so I, I actually help to do that Cole please give me a help you're big yep I'll help with the get the box and then secure the remains okay so you collect the remain of uh, Morton brother Morton uh, there are a few uh, um, golden uh, cups and uh, on uh, offerings uh, that uh, you see around the altar on the the tomb. Uh, I'm not interested in taking the offerings. Okay. Okay. Good. Emily might double check if any of it's magic or pretty. Yep. So if you could do some kind of check for me, please. Uh, investigation. Yeah. 
investigation. Ama. Nice. Um, uh, can you do a perception now? <laughs> oh, ho, that's nice. Wow. And uh, you you remember what uh, from your conversation with um, Aina that um, uh, they she she said that uh, uh, she was ready to give you a, a treasure, some kind of a gift that she had made to Tsidvela. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, apparently, you you stumble on, on it, uh, looking and looking. Oh, very cool! Yes, that's a beautiful. Actually, it totally fit your um, your your small uh, wrist. Uh, <laughs> totally beautiful uh, interlaced uh, bracelet of uh, pearls, a very rare color, white on on purple on on black. But uh, oh, I'm so sorry. the way you, you turn it uh, mm -hmm. under the, maybe a bit light, there is a bit light, uh, it's kind of uh, building um, uh, an aura of uh, magnificence and, and very pretty, and it's very pretty, and prettiness. Yeah, and just, just as a side note, uh, Emily doesn't like lean over to pick things up. The mage hand does that, so just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you may have to give it back then <laughs> or to give it to someone else. But uh, this thing actually has uh, the ability to give you 1d4 charisma once uh, once a day. Oh my god. Yes. It's like it's made for me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so you might reconsider whether it's not your, te <laughs> your test or not. No, 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 no. I, she likes it. She's in love with it. But I'm just saying like she, she doesn't, she doesn't, she isn't like the appearance of doing work. She doesn't want to make anyone think she works. So ah. she has her mage hand pick it up and bring it to her. I see, I see, yeah. I see, I see, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, uh, yes, it's worth a 1,500 uh, gold piece. Holy crap, now I feel bad. Wow. Uh, I, I would like to use divine sense to check if there are any undead within 60 feet around us before we go outside the church. That's a very good idea, Azir, yeah, please. Uh, so I, I use my, it's a, it's a skill, so there is no checks or anything, I don't call yeah. for it. Uh, you actually uh, feel that uh, there are a lot of uh, dead that are dead, but th that's about it. It looks, uh, it looks uh, very peaceful. <laughs> there man. are a lot of dead who are dead. A, a lot of dead people, but not undead people, right? Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of dead, uh, really dead, dead uh, skeleton type uh, lying all around. Okay, so I turn to everybody and I tell them there are no undead within 60 feet of this church, guys. This church. Yes. Where do we start first? Uh, we are going for to the mermaid, right? That's what. Yeah, we're let's go about. to the mermaid first. Okay, let me switch you to the. Let me switch to the, the map, the, the global map. Can I ask a question about the bracelet? Yes, of course. This 1d4 charisma, once per day, lasts for how long? Uh, that's a good question. It's not mentioned. Let's say, uh, let's say eight hours. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if I roll a four on that, I'll have, well, not even a four. If I roll a, if I roll a three on that, I'll have a plus six instead of a plus four to everything. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Nice. Yes. Uh, just remember that it's very old. Uh, it's it's very very old. It dates Emily knows back. how to take care of jewelry. Don't worry. Yes, it might it might uh, deteriorate over time. Uh, if, uh, there is uh -huh. over usage of it uh, at the GM description. A uh, DM <laughs> discretion. Discretion. Mm. Okay. As is everything. Yeah. <laughs> But no, well, well done. Uh, apparently, uh, Pseudo Dragon is happy to be back. And um, fortunately, he doesn't have a lot of memory uh, to, to, to I mean, resent if you about. Don't mind, I mean, yeah? if you don't mind, I, I will take the hunt back. Ah, of course, she says. Uh, and kind of. Of course, of course. Tries to uh, undo the, the, the thing with her mage hand. So. Uh, she doesn't have to touch it. Just Again, one the work thing, thing. It's, uh, it's pretty dark, guys. So you, you want to rest the night or to, to go right out uh, right now? Or well, we could spend the night down there before, right? Uh, I when we head down there I and give her like, the good news. 
I would like to check, even if it's late, I would like to check a bit of the city mm. during the night, if you don't mind, guys. Yeah, yeah, we can take a rest first and then like uh, like it's right 7.30 or 8 p.m. now. We can rest until 12, no. like a yeah, long rest. Yeah, it's probably 8.30 p.m. You're absolutely right. So we can spend like two hours just yeah. to have a look around and see if that course is really lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you, you probably want to take at least a short rest first because like uh, many people use lots of spells and lots of stuff before we go out, just in case. And okay. we can go out if you need rest. it, yes. Sure. Yeah, we can, we can go out. Like, after two, three hours. I I kind of punch his side in a friendly way, door inside and say, big boy needs short rest. <laughs> yeah, kind of. My, my bad divine smith needs it, not me. You, you recover on a short rest? A uh, my, yeah, my divine, uh, uh, what was it? Let me... Aura or whatever? Yeah, like a lot of my features. Uh, must be sure that okay, I'm... cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I don't. I haven't played a paladin in ages, so I forgot. I love my spells. I don't recover spells uh, unless I take. Yeah, numbers. yeah. Uh, spells are. Spells I, I are recover the uh, channel divinity. Chan so, ah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and also, I would like to give the dragon a good berry because he performed really, really well uh, as a token of gratitude. I had oh. a good berry on me. That's very okay. Nice. Yeah. Again, Emily watches this very, very pleased that you appropriately appreciate her dragon. Yeah, amazing job, actually. Saved all gotten, of us. You have gotten kudos from Emily for that. Actually, like... Uh, Emily approves. <laughs> would show up if you were playing a video game. <laughs> it's exactly as uh, my good fellow Tony said. He saved our asses, basically. So. Oh, that's right. And okay. some of them are very nice asses. It would have been a waste. So, while you guys are having a small chit-chat uh, inside uh, of a corner of, um, of a chapel, uh, you kind of rest and, uh, and try to recover and reflect a bit on what just happened and feel uh, indeed a sense of relief, but you're not entirely sure that everything is all right. But you feel more confident at this stage, and I think uh, two hours have passed and uh, you are, you're a bit uh, refreshed from your uh, short rest. Okay, I guess I light a torch up and say, let's have a look at least at the mermaid first. Shall we go? Yes. Emily yes. has a nice, nice little hooded lantern that can delicately follow her down. Okay. She'll light that up as well. Um, uh, uh, do you see the map? Can map yes. village map? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Just making sure. Uh, yes, that's that's uh, totally fine. Uh, you uh, could you tell me uh, how you are proceeding? Who is leading? I'm leading. Okay. So Tony, describe to me uh, what you are doing uh, because you have to go to uh, where the um, uh, the rope uh, was, which is uh, uh, if I can re remind you. Yes. So basically, we come from here, right? Yes. And yeah, we do this. Okay, so indeed, uh, it's a bit slower than expected. No, uh, you're a bit cautious at first, but uh, the more you go in, the more you are you feel reassured that no no skeleton or no zombies or no whatever is attacking you. Apparently, apparently it's just the sea, the, the breaking of the waves uh, down the cliff, and the, the fresh breeze uh, that is. Uh, uh, flowing uh, on the top of uh, the cliff. Oh, kitty. So there is this uh, small procession of uh, uh, adventurers, uh, some uh, some taller and bigger than others, uh, that is uh, 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 proceeding to towards the, the southern end. You you look a bit at first. Uh, you you notice that uh, you find the, the stone uh, circle of stone that is. Uh, uh kind of a lo looking a bit different from what you remember uh, during daytime but that's okay because it's dark and uh, things appear a bit different uh, then you can find your your sighting and uh, actually uh, head towards uh, the point where you you tied the, the rope how did we get back up can't we walk that down the same way that we walked up do we come up by the rope i can't remember yeah, yeah. there was like a, a trail i guess like here yes yes yeah. So if we can find it again, maybe we can use that. 
uh, the, the trail is actually um, in the direction of uh, uh, starting yeah. from from the the, the lower uh, from the, the sea level uh, roughly and is going toward the chapel so you might have wanted to to take the trail oh the i misunderstood it but uh, it's okay you still have uh, the, the possibility to to get down the rope and uh, we, can, we can i guess uh, i will i will use the rope yeah okay okay we, we'll make a general uh, uh, skill check for every uh, to, to make sure that uh, if everything's fine. Okay, uh, I will are, use. Are we using yeah. the rope to go down again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we I, have uh, we discovered the pass around the right side actually last time? Yes, but apparently, we Gilles just told us that the trail starts from the chapel. I I also thought it was kind of here, but how uh, was it? Sorry, quite... yeah, that's what I saw. It was around that we walked like this last time. Uh, okay, so I did a modification. Sorry. Okay, uh, okay. I accept that uh, you remember which way it starts actually. And uh, okay, le le let's do it uh, easy, in a more easier way. It's not, uh, oh, thank you, Gilles. Yeah. So indeed, uh, you. My bad. You 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 do find the the, the path. Uh, as I said, it, it's night and it looks a bit different, but uh, so more you 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 recognize that's the path. And uh, you proceed towards the the cave. Everything is good for you. It's it's good for me. Yes. Okay. So indeed, uh, you proceed and uh, you you arrive to to the cave and uh, the the torch is kind of uh, illuminating inside. And. Uh, you you don't see you don't see anything uh, spe specific, but there are many rocks and uh, many places that are seen in shadow in spite of uh, the. So I start approach. calling like, "Hey, you still here?" Uh huh. So you you do hear uh, a small voice uh, saying, uh, "Yes." It's me, Tony. Oh, Tony. can you? Yeah. Can you can you reveal yourself? I can't see you in the dark. Oh, so uh, she you see a, a small head that is appearing, uh, still a beautiful uh, pale face on uh, on deep green eyes, uh, appearing from a place actually you were not expecting, um, and uh, the, now she's uh, she's still wearing her uh, worn. Uh, uh, once, w once upon a time, a beautiful, uh, beautiful dress, but worn-out dress, and uh, she's approaching you uh, slowly, slowly. I feel, hey. I feel something is better now. We are not hundred percent sure, but maybe we were able to lift the curse. And I think the best way to find it out is to check by yourself if you can leave this cave and take back your freedom. The, um, the Ina is, uh, is looking at the, the hand of uh, uh, Emily and noticing mm. the bracelet. Oh, you found the bracelet. It's beautiful. Yes, it's, it's so beautiful. But, and then uh, she, she says, uh, she, she, she gets closer to you and closer to you uh, and feels Somehow there is uh, some light coming um, on, on her face and she's saying, oh my God, it seems you have succeeded. Yay. You and me totally deserve this, uh, this uh, bracelet. It looks so beautiful on you. Yeah, and that really was a big reason why we could do this. So I think she deserves it. And Bran oh. here. Tap, tap, tap. Oh. The and there is a small dragon. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> It's the, oh, so cute and tasty. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything I can uh, I can uh, help you with? I feel so much relief now. It it looks like I'm free again, darling. It was with your help that we were able to do it in the first place. You've done enough. The best thanks you can give now. Live a good life. Oh, don't mention. And uh, old are you again? Emily's about 25-ish. Don't ask her, that's rude. <laughs> uh, and you have this uh, look of uh, contentment on her face. Uh, like, uh, look, sister, I know much better than you. So, 
Oh, huh? like she's much older and wiser kind of thing? I think so, yes. Yeah, yeah. But she has a, a, a very nice smile to you, like she's just a child, that's okay. <laughs> she, she, she's patronizing me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it might be, yes. Excuse me, that's my job. <laughs> So I'm the patronizer here. She turns to, to every one of you and pet the pseudo dragon and then kisses, uh, do a kiss on uh, each of the boy's uh, cheek and uh, on her, a small hug uh, to, to the girls. Um, and then uh, you see her walking uh, slowly uh, towards the sea. And um, uh, there is a bit light uh, reflecting on her. And uh, actually, the, the dress now is. is sort of uh, disappearing and uh, she just have her bare uh, shoulders and maybe uh, now there's no feet anymore and you see her plunging inside the water. Oh my, That's She looks. Lovely. At one point you see her head uh, emerging, she turns to you, she has a perfect uh, hair uh, in spite of, uh, of uh, the, the water being uh, supposedly soaking her wet. Uh, um, that's the magic I want. That, that's and the then, magic. She has a perfect and... hairdo. She looks at you <laughs> and waves I... with a beautiful smile and then plunge again. And then a huge big shark hits her. Good job. <laughs> no. Actually, no, we don't know. But you have read the mermaid. That's very, very nice of you. Okay, I guess. That was this beautiful. Part is done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I think you 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 probably uh, now have uh, the confidence that uh, you have uh, lifted the curse uh, on uh, the runes of uh, Ken Mouth. Yeah, there is uh, there is one more thing I would like to see if the team is okay. Okay, I would like to visit Patrick. Okay, um, I want to see what happened to him if he's still alive or. Oh my goodness! Does this mean we have to actually go sleep in a bed tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a bed in Patrick's cabin. Okay. So you wait for to... tonight, or you you just go right now? What do you want to do? Oh, personally, would like to go right now, but I leave the decision to the team. Yeah, right now it's good because we still need to check if the Andel are completely gone or not. I, I feel perfectly safe walking around the night with our two fellows here, Pat Pat. I was ready to go. He says, "Let's go." Let's do it. <laughs> if I can remind you, you were attacked by a giant toad so in the march. Yeah, yeah, I remember. They didn't have me with them then, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> so Toads have no power over me. <laughs> and also, we haven't gone to the marsh, like, uh, not, not the left side where there is Patrick lives. We didn't go up to, uh, towards the marsh where there is an air that says two marshes. We never went that way, actually. Yeah, but Maybe. we don't have to, right? Yeah, yeah, but oh. like, after we check on Patrick, if we have time and the curse is actually gone, maybe we can just see for fun. You won't find? No, I don't want to. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so you head your way back uh, on the same path uh, towards the top of, uh, of the cliff, and nothing in particular. And uh, you, let's say you arrive to the, um, the Rowan tree, you remember? The, the house, the, the red house, you cross the, the here. bridge. Yes, you, you arrived yeah. around here. And um, you hear the, the sound of the night, actually, it's a different sound from uh, what you, you had noticed in the previous days. It's really the sound of the night. It's not... Uh, oh, that's uh, so nice. Yes, uh, they are, they are uh, uh, small animals and stuff that are um, apparently uh, making noise uh, from the marsh and, uh, and maybe uh, crickets and I don't know what, uh, on the other side. It's just, it, it sounds natural to you. That's what you notice. So you are there at this house. What do you decide to do? What do you decide to do? My idea is to follow this. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. So please proceed and uh, I will roll a few things uh, on my side. Don't, don't pay attention. Okay. So if you could make a, a step by step. Uh, so, I, I, did, you, did you see the line I draw? Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> indeed, you 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 walk through uh, this uh, this path. There is nothing uh, really. Uh, first, you you are a bit cautious. Um, 
but nothing is really happening. It's like a desert place and just things are in ruins. No. It, to, to you, uh, compared to the overnight, it looks almost like a, a party time. It's just bizarre, but uh, you're actually happy to be in this village. There is nothing gloomy or horrible yeah. about it. Okay. Oh, so nice, guys. You, you do proceed. Um, hold on. You, you arrive at uh, the entrance of the march. And there, yeah, I lead the way. I just, mm -hmm. I try to be careful, but I know there might be danger. Yeah. So at least I lead the way. Okay. So let's do this in four sections. So first section, you are uh, here. Yes. Yeah. Still proceed a uh, again. Do a perception check, please. Everyone. Everyone. Uh, no, the one who is leading. Okay. <laughs> You're on a roll. Six. <laughs> the six. Uh, so uh, indeed, I think it's safe. Uh, you said uh, turning uh, towards. Uh, uh, your Looks friend. safe, guys. Yeah. It's fine. And uh, actually, uh, someone else who could do a, a perception check. Is anyone skilled in perception? I'm actually not skilled in it. No, you, you, actually, you don't need a perception check. A bit in the distance, you see a light. A bit Over at the Frankenstein place? Maybe it's a someone carrying a light or... A, um, oh, you're it's not Patrick! Sure. Yeah. He's alive. <laughs> He's coming our way. No, it's uh, it's just a bit uh, in, in the distance. Uh, you... Is that the direction your friend was in? Emily asks dubiously. Yeah. Like that it. must be Patrick. Okay, yeah, let's keep Must going. it? The light is... Uh... It is sort of a dim light that has a, I don't know, 520 foot radius. Like a torchlight sort, right. of, sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, probably like a torchlight. That's, that's a good... Uh... Ah, okay. Is it moving towards us or is it like standing still? Mm, you're not entirely sure. It's, uh, it's a bit moving and uh, I think you, 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 you kind of believe it's uh, someone walking maybe with a, with a light. At the moment, you're stopped. You're stopped. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. I, I just proceed. Okay. So you proceed. And... Uh... Hey, diplomacy says we stick to the path. Be careful, little friend. Yep. And then the light has stopped. Like it goes away? Or it just stopped moving? It, it has stopped. There's no more light. Sorry. There's no more light. It goes away. Yes. Oh, I, I still go forward. And uh, I would like everybody to roll for uh, initiative now. <laughs> uh, we need to be on a map where our tokens are in order to roll for initiative. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we can put the token maybe here. Uh, I mean, if we're fighting on this map, we can uh, do that, but. I think we can put the token here, right? Yeah, put it here. It's, it will do a few out of the mine. On. I need to reset the. Sorry. <coughs> I need to clear the list for turns. Remove. Okay. TPK. TPK. Yeah, uh, we come this far, and then this is the yeah, turns take us yeah. down. <laughs> Resolve the, the mystery. We're done with the main mission, and then some codes <laughs> will wreck us. Oh, it's going to be Sturges. Okay. We're going to die to Sturges. It's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, you, uh, the first person um, is uh, actually being attacked. Already? Surprise so, attack? So it's, it's me. It's not yeah, me. It's you. Oh, no, let's actually, see. it's me. I rolled a 17, but it's not in the turn order. No, the, no, 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 in no the, not the turn order. The, 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 the surprise round. Leaving. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, 
But would... almost none of us are in the turn order. Why? So I'm afraid that's a 20, actually, because uh, you are you're yeah, very I see. surprised. Yeah, I can see it. Those, uh, I have a question. Yes. Before you take, you, before you take that 20 on me. Yes. If this creature attacking me is part of the protection from evil spell. Yes. Then he will roll at disadvantage. So oh. if he had the advantage, he will roll normally. Means yeah. he roll a six. Oh, okay. Cancels out. Okay, that's a, that's a very good point. Thank you for reminding me. So this misses you. Nice. I'm invincible. I always told you guys. Okay. Why didn't my turn go up? Uh, I need uh, I need a token. Let me uh, find a token. Let me find a token. Ah. Uh, if I put it on on the map, you are going to see uh, what it is already. So I will put, put it on the token layer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, token layer. You can't see it. Aha! I said too much. Uh, <laughs> Life is hard. That's an object on token. I will put it on the GM overlay. I think you're going to see it, Kiel, when you roll initiative for it, though it's going to pop up on the turn tracker. We'll see the picture there, maybe. So. Uh, may but uh, it will be just... Uh... Okay. If you keep it on the GM layer, we will not see the rolls either. It's on the GM layer, actually. I need to layer, GM layer, perfect. And then how do I roll for initiative for him? Yes, okay. But it doesn't appear on the layer, on the turn order. Not even for you? We can't yeah. see it, but you can't see it either. I'm on the, the icon. I need to click on something on the icon again. Right right oh, click, click and it, it should be on the menu, add, add turn or whatever. Ah, uh, uh, yes, okay. Manually roll and change the number of type or just to add it to the turn order. Advance. Yeah, uh, uh, Again. Uh, okay. Anyway, I have the turn on. Uh, I will tell you. Uh, so, next is uh, is uh, Doran. Uh, okay. So, what do I see? Like, I don't even know what should I attack now. You see nothing. Nothing. So, uh, didn't Tony just get attacked? Yes, he did. Tony just felt uh, some kind of a uh, flow of uh, energy uh, coming at him, at her. And uh, that was very brief. And uh, he kind of uh, instinct, she kind of uh, instinctively uh, made uh, uh, a step uh, on the side. And this uh, energy uh, went away. Okay, so we need to just avoid it basically, like we need to dodge. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I you. you could hold an action too. It's like, like uh, you hold a hold an attack until you see something or something. Yeah, I would like to do that, but while I'm, I'm waiting to see what's going on, I will also uh, cast. Uh, I will prepare Sandor Smith um, just in case. Okay. Uh, and I will just yeah hold my action until I see what's going on. But I prepare my spell. Okay. Next in line is um, Emily. You can make the turn order go in order too, by the way. You can do like a ascending, descending order. Yeah. yeah, you can sort it if you like. So then you don't have to like figure out mathematically. Oh, yeah. okay. That works. Yeah. Hold on. Did... I would like to cast Fairy <coughs> Fire. Okay, where? Uh, around, uh, around Tawny, so basically around us, whoever is within even like make, make Tawny the center, make myself the center, it's practically the same thing. So it's a 20 foot cube. Anything within the cube has to make a deck save against, what was it? Uh, 14, which oh, seems really pathetically low. I forgot, <laughs> we're only fourth level, but anyway. Okay. Um, uh, or else we can see them, even if they're invisible. Uh, it will be outlined and we will have advantage to attack it. Okay. You fourth level? No, third level. Oh, I mean third level, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you you indeed cast it. If you could describe uh, what your wh what is the effect? Uh, it's in the chat now. Um, mm. It uh, this this fairy fairy fire kind of 
Let's make it out from the say my wand. Since it's uh, all... Okay, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so you so you indeed have this cube on uh, um, uh, turning your head. Everybody sees actually a kind of a small energy sphere. Ah. That is a briefly a wisp uh, wispy fear, a sphere, you might say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, it could be this. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is briefly appearing. It's okay. a wisp so name will. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yes, if uh, if someone, yeah, you, you, you can have a good intuition that it's a, a wispy uh, willow. Will a willow wisp. wisp. Yeah. Will, will the wisp. Uh, so it should be visible to us now. Um, uh, but actually, it can make a deck save, or it's not visible. So you... it, it did the deck save. Uh, on it. it made the save. No, uh, you didn't. You you saw you you saw it. You saw it failed the deck save. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, if you're holding an action, then uh, Doran, you can. Uh... So I can attack it now, basically. If if that's what you if that was your condition for holding your action, I'll attack when I can see it. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. I'm just asking the DM, like. Ah, uh, uh, yes, this, yes. Uh, I would like a kind of uh, because it, it's it's you, you just see it appearing. So maybe you can wait another <laughs> turn and do it uh, at the normal um, normal attack or uh, at a disadvantage because basically it's just appeared uh, right right now. Well, I, I was waiting for something to appear, and I should attack it as soon as it appears. That's actually what I was doing. So Maybe I not on the on the side you were expecting the. Fine. All right. For what it's worth, for what it's worth, uh, um, the fairy fire gives it has gives the any attackers advantage. So you would just go back to a normal attack. Okay. So that would be uh, back to normal. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to attack it then. Okay. Okay. So. Let me roll for that. I'm, I'm attacking with uh, my helper. Okay. So I will do that first. And uh, it's a 10, but I will use my channel divinity to add a 10 to this 10. So it will oh. be 20. Nice. Oh, it goes through. Uh, at first you thought it, it was not uh, reaching uh, far enough, but... Uh, uh, your your special ability just made the, the extra step, and uh, you did uh, hit the the willow wisp. Okay, so roll for damage. Uh, did it roll for damage? I'm not sure what is that then. Okay, so uh, I think I I, I uh, need to press the weapon itself in that. Is chat. it bludgeoning, piercing, slashing? Uh, it's a halberd. Let me see. I'm just attacking with my halberd. So that would be, be slashing. slashing. Slashing, yeah. Slashing. So it's a uh, resistance to resistant to slashing. So that would be half uh, damage. Um, okay, I'm just asking. Uh, did it already roll the damage or not? Like uh... no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This one. Okay. So I I rolled this one. So oh. that's a two. Okay, that's I a two. But and... I'm not I'm not done yet. I'm not done oh. yet because okay. I casted I casted uh, Sandra Smith. So it's gonna take additional Smite. damage. That's Mike. Okay. Uh, let me see how much do I do that. Sorry, I'm such an English teacher. Sorry. No, no, thank you. Man. <laughs> it's nice to finally understand how to pronounce my own spell. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a knee-jerk reaction. I feel really bad right now. Okay, so it's an extra 2d6 thunder damage. So, roll 2d6. 2d6. Uh, it's a seven thunder damage. Yeah, what type of uh, damage is that? Thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, yes, it's also, I'm afraid, resistant to thunder. So. <laughs> uh, okay, now, uh, well, is, it, is, is it a creature? Uh, is, is the target a creature? A willow, it's a tiny undead chaotic evil creature. Okay, so if it's a creature now, it must succeed on a strength saving throw, or it will be pushed 10 feet away from me and be knocked. Prone. Um, I don't see how this could be not prone, but uh, let's roll. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, it's it's a thunder, I guess. <laughs> it's a it's a it tiny might undead. Be immune to, it might, might be immune to proneness. I'm not quite sure. Tiny okay. undead. So I'm not sure. It's a, uh, uh, okay, if, if if it can't, it will just be pushed at least ten feet away yeah. from me. Okay. So let, let's roll let's for strength. It's a strength saving throw. Okay. 
So yeah, you, you do push it, but this po poor little thing is pushed away, definitely. Uh, it, is, it, is it is immune to being yeah. prone. Should yeah. be, right? Okay. That just makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that was my action. Oh wait, no, I can attack with the other side of the weapon before I forget. So I will attack with the other side of the weapon as well. And then okay. the Albert. So I think it was one D four, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a D four. Yeah. So one D four. Four. Oh sorry. Forgot I'm the going slash. To mute and just one damage. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. It's a blood bludgeoning them. Yeah. So it's halved, and uh, I'll see what I do with this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not the dead, right? Uh, next is uh, Cal. Cal, you are furious to see your friends being attacked uh, like that. What do you do? I mean, well, can, can you or can we put the token on the board now, just so I can see where it is? is that uh where is yeah it's uh sorry yes actually now you you do see it let me change the token layer you see it okay so it's there where are you here because uh, actually we we did a bit of mess here with uh well uh, i think uh well tony was in front and i was behind him so i'm yeah. here so, so um, tony moved to the side now so she went left and i should be here i guess yeah okay and the creature was moved a little bit far because I knocked it. Hmm. But that's about it, yeah. Uh, okay, <coughs> let's just imagine. So, no, it's, it's not very far, but you have to move to it, um, Cal. Okay, so I'll take uh, my movement to yeah. come. So are we doing the thing where we can, where we get uh, advantage if we have it on either side? Hmm. Or flank. Is that, oh, is that, the rule or not, I wasn't sure. I think we did that once before, but I don't know if that's a rule here. Uh, just roll and we'll see what's going on. Yeah, let's roll. Actually, I wouldn't put so much uh, a disadvantage because you are still in the marsh and it's it's pretty uh, annoying to, to walk in, into those marsh and, and uh, you are you're going away from, from the path, so uh, I, I would just take it as a normal attack. Difficult terrain. Yeah. Does, does that mean I can't move as far? Or? No, you can't. You can, but uh, I, I wouldn't take uh, advantage. I would just put uh, your token uh, close enough for, for okay. you to, uh, to attack. But, but I'm not going to move actually then that far because I'll be away from the group. So I'm going to stay here. Yeah. I'll, I'll attack next to it. Okay. I'll just attack. Yeah. So an attack. Go for it. Sure. You attack with what, Richard? Uh, what do I have here? Second, I have a great sword. You should have okay. advantage from the fairy fire still. Do I have advantage? I guess that's what I was asking, but I don't know if I do. You have advantage from the, the cast that um, from the fairy uh, fire. Emily uh, made, but uh, you 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 cannot really flank it. I think it's a bit difficult to, to work in. Okay, work. no, that, that's fine. Do I get? Uh, but I have advantage from the fairy fire. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, okay, then I'll attack by using uh, the Great Weapon Master ability. Okay. Um, let's see, so that's uh, what's the rule. I think it's this one. Um, so that's the ten. This probably doesn't hit. I'll roll for the advantage. The six. So first. Uh, yeah, you you are kind of uh, swinging your sword uh, in a. Uh, in the in the air and it's, it's really really agile it's like uh, dancing uh, around your sword and you have no way apparently to to really hit it. no problem that's that's my move okay next is uh tony yes so um... tony that is speechless because he has uh, memories of a, a little baby <laughs> no no i i can speak a bit okay. so i will I will reach back to the to the creature. Yeah. yeah. And I guess I will just attack with my mace. Okay. You have advantage. Then I will immediately mute myself after it. Yeah, you have <laughs> advantage. 
Yeah. So no, didn't went well. No. Okay, I'm going to mute myself again. Okay. Next is uh, Becky. Mm -hmm. well, oh, Becky. Becky feels like uh, this abomination is a disgrace in uh, the eyes of Sarah Ray. So she's going to blow her last level one spell. Okay. And do a guiding bolt. Probably. Uh, uh, uh. What if I press this? Will it do it? I still have advantage because of uh, fear fire. Boom. Wait, level one. Yes, submit. Thank you. Roll it. All right. Does it 25 hit? Yes, definitely. All right. And uh, I'll use my last sorcery point to reroll that one and that two. I have to do this manually, unfortunately. So, hold on. Uh, to the four. Eh. That's uh, well. I mean, it's better. So it's twelve points of radiant damage. So you throw your radiant damage at these things, and indeed you see it uh, uh, sponging uh, uh, quite a heavy uh, load of damages. Yeah. Okay. And I, yeah, I stay where I'm at. That's it. Yeah. Next is, uh, I think, where is it? Uh, Doran. Doran? Hello? Everybody? Ah, sorry, sorry, it was, uh, it was a mute, sorry. So I'm going to attack it again with my helmet. Yeah. So, there you go. And well, it's a 13. Is this okay? Uh, no, it doesn't go through, but uh, haven't we said that it's at advantage now? Yes. Uh, yes, everybody should have advantage for the time being. Okay, so, so it's uh, 26. Yeah, it, it does go through your Albert uh, hit the thing. Okay, and uh, I rolled for the Albert. Yeah, and it does and, a, uh, a ground two slashing damage. And another one with the other side of the Herbold. For yep. two more damage, two additional damage. So that's another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do have to roll for that as well, though. Yeah, four plus two. Yeah, but you have to roll. Uh, uh, the you have to roll, roll the attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, I rolled. It's a two. So I, I, the slashing damage is four, and then plus two is the other side of the other. So yeah, but you six. have to roll for the for the other side. The hit. The hit. The hit. I rolled. Hit. I rolled. I rolled. I, it's a chat. I did. Huh? You no, that was your twice? main attack. No, no, the main attack is four, and the other side of the weapon is two. Yeah, but the other side is a bonus action attack, and you have to roll another attack roll for that. It's not automatic. Ah, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I actually misunderstood that. Okay. Did I roll again? You probably hit, though. But... Yeah, I actually rolled, but it's not rolling. Yeah, oh, nice. Okay. okay. So it's, uh, I guess, it uh, works and it's just two damage. Okay. Actually, that's half because uh, it's uh, uh, resistant. No, it's... Uh, oh, no, it's uh, blood jetting damage. So. Yeah, but that's the <coughs> for it. It has damage resistance to uh, piercing and blood jetting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like a, a small nice ball of energy. Uh, next is Emily. You see that uh, actually you, you managed to, to identify this, uh, this uh, evil, uh, tiny, undead creature attacking you. And um, now it's your turn. Yeah, well, Emily's going to see how it feels about force damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and cast Eldritch Blast. Um, All right. She will not be doing Hex because she's maintaining, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, fairy fire. All right, so fire, is it a fire damage? No, it's force damage. Force damage. And I have advantage. <laughs> and you have an advantage, and you go through, yes. <laughs> and it's a crit. Um, oh my gosh. Maximum damage. 
awesome. Oh, and I would like to add a D. I would like to add a D10 to that too, actually. For my anyway, these things uh, evaporate uh, in, a, in, in, in the in the night. But wait, I want to roll my extra damage. <laughs> <laughs> you do, okay. <laughs> Overkill. Uh, roll your yeah. extra damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. So not another seven on top of that. <laughs> Must so I do everything myself. <laughs> big fire firework uh, that, to the delight of all your companions. Uh, <laughs> the sky and it's beautiful and it's absolutely uh, uh yeah elating purple, feeling purple, for everyone and everyone is captivated by the awesome noise uh, <laughs> of your final uh, touch uh, into this fight and uh, look look at you with uh, eyes of uh, admiration no, i don't know about that <laughs> they can decide for themselves if they admire me but they really the should. fight is over <laughs> you you put an end of it as a person in charge and uh, definitely hmm. Responsible mm. for everything, right? Do a little wand pose. Whoosh, whoosh. Yes. I, I think your dragon is impressed by that last attack. <laughs> he is definitely yes. Okay, my dragon, uh, we can say for sure. And your dragon looks at you with loving eyes. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes. Okay. I think that's over. The the, uh, the encounter is over. And, uh, so then it's again the, the night on uh, every. All the, the noises and sounds of uh, the marsh that had stopped during the fight are stopping and coming back a few seconds later. And then again, it's the marsh as usual. Well, shall we? Points yeah. onward. We proceed towards Patrick here. Yeah, so you do you do arrive and it's the same thing. It looks different uh, because it's the night and you are just illuminating with your your lantern. And uh, but indeed, uh, that's the that's the small cabin um, that belonged to Patrick. You 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 approach and, and step uh, step on the stairs. Uh, the door is is, uh, is closed. Uh, someone uh, carefully open it and uh, there is a bit of uh, noise because this is an old door and, um, and he was dissatisfied with it and he wanted to change to, to, for a new one as he told you uh, before and uh, with a lantern actually you, you look around inside the cabin and you notice a, a skeleton gently lying on the floor Oh. Oh, he was part of the curse. He's gone now. Oh. Well, hope he's in a better place now. <laughs> I wanted to give him that door he wanted before he turned the <laughs> basket. That's uh, yeah, well. that's, uh, that's one of those small, uh, bittersweet memory uh, that uh, will remain. Hopefully, him. he's knocking on heaven's door now. <laughs> oh, that's a good. Okay, inspiration token for you, Roberto. <laughs> okay, end of. The module inspiration, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold my holy symbol and like, cast a prayer so he rests in peace. So yeah, guys, you, you feel that uh, indeed you you have lived uh, the curse and um, mission accomplished. I think uh, mission accomplished. Well, we've never been to the Barrow Mound, but I guess we don't have to then. Uh, you can. It's not. A... I wanted to go more to the marshes just to see what's in there. You, yeah. you can. Uh, uh, that's Death. If you're interested, uh, we can go. Um, yeah, or, or we but can... we'll rest here for the night, yes? Or we can. Uh, you can rest in the cabin, yes? Uh, for... uh, we can. If there's a little girl's room. Uh, uh, is it like a one room cabin or is it? I, I haven't been here before, so I don't know. It's what it probably like. just a shack. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's more like a a big uh, a big bigish uh, one room. Uh, it's a sort sort of a one DK. Oh, uh, uh, that's fine. It's big. Uh, actually, it's pretty neat because uh, Mister uh, Patrick Zombie uh, maintained it uh, as well as he could uh, with uh, with what he had at hand. You just have a kind of a skeleton lying on the floor. That is a bit, uh, maybe, uh, inappropriate for, for the girls. Right. Well, well we, the cleric said uh, she'll give it its last rites. Mm, nice, okay. Um, I'm sure we have some big, strong men who wouldn't mind digging a six-foot deep hole for that tomorrow, right? 
no sound. You have no. <laughs> Your Everybody's question muted. is a met with a stern silence. <laughs> well, no, of course we're not adventurers like guys. We're adventurers like girls. Own it. Mm, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, Tony, I think uh, you girls deserve uh, only the best and uh, most sophisticated. You are not like uh, those uh, British guys uh, uh, coming along uh, in, in the group. If I'm reading well the comments. Quality doesn't mean we have to be exactly the same, honey. Absolutely. Own it. Ah, okay. Uh, I take it that you lost your voice, uh, Tony. PTSD from a small uh, little girl, uh, memories of a small little girl. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, All right, guys, okay. so what's next? Uh, next is up to you to decide. You can either go to um, the, the mound or go back to the, the small... Long uh, rest right now, right? Uh, yeah, long rest, rest, I hope. I, I'm, I'm one vote for long rest, as long as one yeah. of the ladies gets to bed. It's uh, it's probably a good idea because now it's uh, like uh, 12, uh, uh, it's like midnight, so you might want to, yeah. to take uh, your day. I will take back my spell slot. Okay, so you guys had a long rest and uh, you, you are waking up uh, still to, to this uh, skeleton uh, lying on the floor. Um, maybe you covered it uh, with... Uh, with a blanket, uh, but you, you are emerging and uh, there is the nice sound of a uh, sun, um, sunny, sunny day with, um, again, animals uh, in the marsh uh, that are making now a different sound, probably because uh, it's, uh, it's uh, different uh, animals that are appearing uh, during the, the day, different from the night. Um, the, the air is a bit damp because it's pretty humid and uh, that's about it um, anything you want to do so remind me again why were you guys here i guess to lift the curse that we just did so like does someone pay you for that and we get, get paid it? yeah we get paid after that yeah we we probably have to go back to that other village which yeah. name i forgot do um uh, Catherine, Catherine, uh, gave us, uh, yeah, gave us one hundred points in advance and said we would get a total, I think, of four hundred, so three hundred left. What if, say, someone along the way came along and played a key role in all of that? Does she get a cut? I guess. Yes. We are part of the group then. Ah. Welcome and to the sweet. But you got, a, you got a bracelet that's even like has more words than the whole. Oh, that's reward. actually true. I forgot about that. Oh my <laughs> actually, gosh. That could I'll be put it to very right. good use for the party. Don't worry. It'll be to everyone's advantage in the end. It's going to be glorious. That, that's better than the whole reward for this mission, baby. <laughs> I forgot about that, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we can wrap up uh, now if you want, and uh, I will introduce you to the next uh, part of uh, the adventure. Sure. Yeah, sounds yeah. great. Is, uh -huh. is that where we go along with the next uh, the next chapter of this adventure, and or we're still considering other adventures? If I'm fine either way, just curious. Is there more to do in this module? Are we are we good? Are we it, talking about next module levels talks? There, there is more to do in the module, but it's a bit re irrelevant uh, since uh, you have uh, solved the, the you have lift, uh, lifted the, the curse. Um, no, we don't have to do hundred percent. Yeah. Right. No. no. <laughs> Uh, I would suggest that you do the, the next module that is um, uh, occurring uh, with uh, the city of Seston. Um, and uh, it includes uh, travel and exploration to other parts of, uh, of uh, the, the area where you guys uh, are based uh, in. Uh, it has, uh, it was, I, I read it and it's interesting. There are a few things that are interesting and it's... Um, this yep. is the one where we can continue the same characters? Yes, that's the one. Uh, let's go Does for anyone want to change characters? Nah, not yet. Kind of torn. In some ways, you know, I like it. You know, we're already level three and we'll get a higher levels. Like Zia was saying, it's kind of 
interesting to see what unfolds. On the other hand, you know, if we're going to at some point do a long-term campaign that might get a, up to level 17 or level 20, there's something to be said about, you know, sticking with the, with the character and the, all the way through and developing it up. Like if we do another single module and we, you know, advance these characters a little bit, but then we drop them. Um, then but, just on that, so. Yeah, uh, it's understandable, Richard. Uh, the thing is that now you are, you are definitely level four. So yep. you have access to a, a number of uh, different uh, skills. And, uh, Mostly it's just uh, ability point improvement. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I think the, the new, uh, new, um, new adventure is, uh, is kind of uh, bigger in scope. Uh, you will find a, a situation on characters uh, that actually you have encountered. And it's a continuation of uh, Hand of Narkel and uh, all the bad guys you, you met uh, in the first, uh, yeah. I'd like to see that, mm. if possible. And uh, it has an uh, underlying uh, uh, implication, actually, uh, um, deeper than uh, initially thought. I'm fine with everything. I personally agree with Richard that it's more beautiful to see character eventually growing up, right? Uh, I, I can't promise to do a, a full module uh, after this uh, this uh, new adventure, if you don't mind. I think the, the second adventure is will be a three to four uh, session. And then, yeah, what I wanted uh, to say, Gilles, yes? is that uh, while yeah, I agree with Richard, you as a GM, your enjoyment is the most important. <laughs> because the point is, I, I'm generally 90% of the times a GM myself. Yes. The point of the point is, if you're not enjoying the game, players won't enjoy it either. Uh, no, no. Okay. What I'm enjoying is uh, you uh, as a team, and I think your characters have uh, interesting personalities. Thank you. They, they could Thank be you. exposed to uh, more adventures before we drop them to start again at level one. Then yeah, let's. Uh, then since you feel like that. Yes, I vote I for continuing continuing with these characters for now. Mm. Um, if everyone's having fun with who they're playing, yeah, I'm having fun. Me too. Let me tell you the the rewards for the the adventure. Okay. So, uh, yes. So, <laughs> uh, Emily has a one thousand five hundred gold piece uh, bracelet. Uh, that is just a small thing. Uh, don't don't. Just don't a mention. bubble. Yeah. Um, Catherine uh, is actually happy and surprised and, and start already to, to send orders to, to her crews to, to sail on to, to the port and she gives you as promised a 500 gold, gold piece for clearing the village How much did it? Oh, I did 500, 500 gold piece Okay, yeah uh, Father Andrew from the, the church uh, in uh, Sestone, uh, kind of reluctantly gives you a 400 uh, gold piece for the return of a uh, Sid Vela hand. Mm. Goodbye, but yeah. then there is a small actually, problem. Actually, actually, yes. um, yes. sorry, let me change the room. Actually, uh, regarding the hand, yes. I wanted to check with the price. I would actually really like to keep it. Okay. And not receive the 100? You'd rather keep the hand? Is that an option? Yes. Yes. I motivate it by saying that uh, this hand really protected me in this very dangerous adventure, and I could feel San Sevilla protection on me. And I see. it would be difficult for me to separate myself from it. But I will ask his opinion first. I mean, if the it's okay priest, for you, I would like to keep it. Father's Andrew uh, um, opinion? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it tells you that uh, <coughs> the value uh, in this hand actually resides in the fact that it's uh, stored in a consecrated uh, place. Okay, yeah. six. In a consecrated place. And uh, that should be uh, either a chapel or, uh, or a church. And that uh, greatly it it loses all its power if it's uh, maintained uh, outside its uh, holy uh, environment. I see. So it would just be you'd be just carrying around a dead hand, which is gross. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> then yeah, I will give it back. Yeah. 
Sad. It's 100 yen. I wanted that permanent protection gold. from evil. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Temporary. <laughs> Uh, so it gives you uh, 400 uh, gold piece uh, in return for, for the hand. 400? Yeah. Okay. Can we? Okay. Can I ask you guys something? Because I'm having some difficulty now with my kid. Mm. Um, can you write it down, the things you're getting? Because okay. I can't hear you very well. Okay. I, might, I might miss something. Thank you, guys. Okay. So 500 from the captain. Yeah. From the... the, the... 500 from the lady captain, yes. The, the lady captain, oh, sorry. The, the trader, she's a, a businesswoman. We've had a very bossy type. In a uh, I'm, I'm picturing the, the, the lady from uh, uh, Mononuke Hime. Eh? Uh, the lady with a gun uh, from Mononuke Hime. Gun? The lady with the gun from Mononuke Hime. The bad, the bad guy. That's a bad guy. Yes, we have a picture of her. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. Okay. Um, then you, you, um, Carl, you see your aunt, Susan. Oh. So she's very happy. She has tears in her eyes that you give back uh, the ring. It's indeed. Uh, the, the ring of her dear uh, uncle but she has a hard time uh, when she sees the, the skeleton i you know try to comfort her and and say that you know the 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 spirit goes to wherever it goes regardless of the body and this is to uh to set the uh uh our uncle, my uncle's uh, remains back to where it belongs. We'll still give him peace. He, she shakes her head and says, no, no, that cannot be him. Uh, um, he wasn't that big. It's, it's, it's a monster. You, you brought me back. But it's, it's the, the skeleton is a skeleton of a monster. Is, is that what happened? I thought I thought it turned back into the regular human skeleton. I guess I'm no, 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 no. That's a skeleton. Monster uh, skeleton. Oh. I don't think we would have brought back the skeleton if that was the case. Uh, I think we would have just brought the ring. Um, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I just was, no, no, it's my fault. I just totally misunderstood it. Me too. Sorry. I thought that it, yeah, I thought that monster was the uncle. It was, but I, but I thought that when we broke the spell that it sort of broke the, uh, you know, the transformation uh, and it see. went back to a regular. Maybe I should have mentioned it, but uh, it, it's just a, 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 not a, a monster shape, but a, a skeleton uh, in a monster shape. I see. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's really misunderstood. Personally, I don't know, maybe I was the one actually who first had the idea to take the skeleton, but I think what, what Cal would have thought in that case is exactly this, that it really would have upset the ant and would have, you know, buried the, the, the skeleton, the monster skeleton there by the chapel mm. that brought the ring back mm. and then just explained that. Well, she, she ignores it and, uh, you know, she, she, she holds in her hand the, the ring and she, she's very happy and, uh, and you can see her a bit lost in uh, happier memories. So okay. I think the, the awkward moment is, is gone and she, she kind of denies, uh, she's in denial. It's, uh, it's okay. her uncle. She's no, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. She's she's happy. Uh, about, uh... All right. So when do you guys want to start the next session? Uh, no. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we got like an hour, hour and a half left on this this uh... session. So, <laughs> so, so Kiel, sorry, just to just to sum up. So we got a total of nine hundred gold from the from completing the mission. Yeah. Okay. Is it so 900 or 1,000? Oh, 900, you're right. 900. Plus uh, stuff that you have collected or wanted to collect on the way that you found. Uh, I think you found a bag of conservation. Uh, you also found a ring of protection. Yes. Oh. oh. Who got uh, the ring of protection? Call me. Yeah. And uh, you guys have found a bit gold, if I remember well. And uh, also all the offerings that actually were your looting rights. Uh, but the thumb. real reward was the friends we made along the way. 
Mm. <laughs> I see. Uh, I am in a group of very cautious uh, characters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, what about starting next week the the, the module? I, I just read it actually, and uh, I don't have it uh, well uh, set. Oh up. yeah, I, I think yeah, today would have been a really big ask. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. But but generally speaking, it's uh, it's based on um, it starts at the, the point of uh, where the adventure, the previous adventure stopped. So maybe someone could, uh, as you are selling back, uh, someone could uh, tell uh, to Emily what's the story with the hand of Narkel and what happened. Yeah, I guess. Uh, mm. The hand not being the uh, hand that we just gave to the priest, a different hand? Different hand. Yeah, that's a good starting point. <laughs> Same hand. I guess the, hand? the oldest, Different. the oldest person in the team, actually, because we had some changes in the team, are Doran and uh, Becky. So maybe one of the. Uh, two. Wait, how, wasn't Carl also like middle aged? He was having his middle aged crisis. You said. He, he is no. What I mean, as the oldest members of the team, like Cole no, just kidding. joined recently. Oh, and that's what right. I mean. Yeah, right, 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 right. Sorry. When the group was formed, I wasn't here yet, actually. Okay. And neither call nor you. So basically, Doran and Doran or Becky are the best bet to tell you what happened. Well, both of you can tell a good tale, I'm sure. Carry on. Emily makes herself very comfortable and in charge wherever she is. <laughs> the inn or wherever we're having our, our debrief. Roberto is still with us or is he? Yeah, I'm here. I am here as well. Okay. Yeah. I'll let Doran speak. Okay, you don't you don't want to sell the tale, I get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well we don't really we didn't really have like lots of information before coming here, basically. We met a girl named Catherine who gave us uh, she said she would give us a total reward of four hundred gold coins for a certain mission. And she gave us one hundred gold, gold coins in advance. So we can like prepare and buy lots of equipment before uh, like uh, leaving for that mission basically. And what she asked us to do was basically to lift a curse um, in a city called Kelma. And she told us that there is an old port with a chevel over there. And uh, the chevel belonged to a priest called Sansevella. And uh, she told us like uh, there is an artifact of this uh, uh, priest. Uh, basically, it's a hand of that priest that should be also in that chapel. And uh, she asked us to find the reason for Zachers and basically lift Zachers. And um, she also mentioned that he was friends with a mermaid. With I'm not sure one mermaid or lots of mermaids over there, but he could talk with mermaids basically. And he was a very uh, respected priest, I guess. And then um, we we visited Andrea after that. Uh, I remember what, who, like, uh, who, the how, end. how, yeah. The end. Uh, I think um, Emily is asking about uh, what type of adventure you had uh, previously, and uh, what 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 is this? Uh, uh, what are what is this hand of narkel that uh, she's hearing you? Uh, oh, oh, I thought you were right. We about just get rid of one hand and now we have another one. What? Uh, yes. How many how many about... holy people are losing hands? <laughs> yes. I thought you were talking about the background be behind our adventure this time. Okay. So you're no, talking no, about the uh, previous adventure. What happened previously? Ah, uh, that would be hard to remember, but. Uh, remember, you were traveling uh, to 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 take a boat, and uh, you arrived to uh, this uh, small port of uh, Sestone, and suddenly, on the on the town uh, city uh, main uh, main square, you you saw a man coming, apparently all wet, coming from the the, the sea, maybe, uh, with uh, tentacles and uh, and uh, scales growing out uh, of his body. Oh. That sounds kind of gross, unless he looks like Jason Mamoa. No, not at all. <sighs> and the, the man died I'm in out. a convulsion on the floor. Oh. To everybody's horror. <laughs> you, you remember this part? 
not myself, everyone uh, who was there at that time. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So we went to this town, we found this tentacle monster thingy on the marketplace, shut it down, uh, figured it was some kind of yeah, some kind of sea monster or some kind of human mutation into this thingy. Did it look at all like that sea monster, the blue man that we had to put down? No, By no, no. Is this it's, all coming uh, from the same uh, source? No, different, different. So same way as the hand is different, um, the monsters are kind of different as well. And then, I don't really believe in coincidence. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it sounds kind of like, uh, you know, have a correlation, but it doesn't really. Uh, well, anyways, in Sestom, we fetched a ship because uh, we had to check out an island. Where How did you all come these... to the island in the first place? Why? I mean, by ship, we... we no, but we why? Why? Well, that's a good question. I think there was some kind of monastery, some ruins. I can't remember why exactly. I think somebody mentioned that... Why is Becky speaking like oh. the druid in the other campaign? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I see the same. I was... Yeah, I think... Yeah, because there were Becky, two you're brothers. you like an old man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> There were two brothers, historians, and one of the brothers went missing on said island, right? Yeah. And and uh, we figured that, well, first of all, uh, Doran uh, sensed that the brother that we met in town was evil. <gasps> so we figured that we might want to check out the island first and maybe look for um, the other historian brother. So we fetched the ship. We went to the island, which name I forgot. Uh, yeah, the and then... Cherry, cherry One? Or cherry yeah, well, that, that was the ship name, Cherry One. Well, we yeah. were looking for Cherry One, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there was a merchant ship also, like, uh, missing. And the dog was missing as well, and the girl. The dog? That's <laughs> yeah. horrible. Uh, wait, yeah. Well, we didn't find a dog, even, I think. Uh <laughs> Anywho, uh, we arrived at the island, uh, we somehow, I mean, we found like a small cave where we found some gnolls, some gnoll marauders, uh, whatever they were doing on an island. Had some and, tea? Yeah, well, we kind of got into a fight with them, almost <laughs> um, met a feisty young dead. lady. And... Um, <coughs> And then we finally proceeded up the up like the hill or somewhere where the monastery was. Um, found a bunch of fish people around. Yeah. Like kind of like like literal like fish headed humanoids. Cro Cro Croto over there? What are they there? Uh, kind of Croto, yeah. I think they had a different name. Anyways, some mm. fish people. Uh, and then we decided that it's a good idea to go down below the monastery and uh, here's my memory is a bit hazy but um, we went down 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 we found like a druid lady uh, before we... that you, you found a, a ghost uh, well is that the ghost of the um, the whatchamacallit some kind of monk guy it could be yeah, some some monk guys go. We have, yeah, we found like basically a, a mausoleum, I guess, of this of, of like a, a monk guy who was missing a hand. And yeah. um, another missing we, hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We later figured that uh, well, uh, the reason why he's he's missing a hand is uh, well. Anyways, later on that. Uh, we found like this druid lady who was in cohorts with whatever operation they were doing. Down you found there. Tony as well, Becky. Oh and yeah, then... my bad. And we found Tony on the way. Of course, we we found Tony because uh, there. Oh yeah, because there were villagers, right? Villagers yeah. gone missing, and we found said villagers plus Tony uh, below the monastery. Uh, we are, well, we freed all of them and we befriended Tony. Um, yeah, well, and then we met the druid lady, who we also well kind of defeated, but but then we befriended her, 
and she agreed to lead us to a rift or a portal or something and uh, we also got the information from somewhere that inside said portal is this hand of Narkul. Which is the hand from that monk guy you were talking about? Yeah, no, I mean, he seemed to have tried on this evil hand. Like, this is a hand of, like, some kind of demigod or something. What would you call it? Nurkul? Yeah, uh, Narkul or something. Narkul, okay. Narkul. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, I think the way this went is that he tried on the hand. Uh, but, I mean, the hand kind of turns you evil or something. It gives you great power, but it also turns you evil. Um, well, anyways, this druid lady led us to this rift where we did find the missing brother. Well, no, wait. Did we find the missing brother or did we find the evil brother? I think it was the evil brother. That was the evil, the evil brother. brother. Yeah, so the evil brother uh, also went to the island where we were shipping there, where we were going there and... Uh, we found the evil brother uh, just about to kind of enter this portal because hmm, maybe he. So I can't remember. I think the the reason why we why why they didn't want to go into the portal is that it's kind of it was unstable. Like he didn't want to go into the portal. He sent these fish people and the villagers to go exactly. in and fetch the hand. Right. Yeah. yeah look yeah. for the hand. Yes. Yeah, to look for the hand because he didn't want to go in because it was dangerous. So if we found him, we caught him red-handed, uh, and well, we got into a fight. Obviously, we defeated him, uh, and uh, we left it at that. Like uh, we didn't go in to the portal to fetch the hand. Uh, yeah, we just freed the villagers, and uh, I think Bob's your uncle. All right. All right, so, and was any of this connected with the adventure we just had? No, I don't think so. It was connected in the sense that uh, people were very impressed and uh, you were approached by uh, Catherine to, oh, yeah. okay. to actually uh, help her because uh, there's Lady nobody Captain. up to the, to the, to the task in, in the village. So you are, <laughs> they were regarded as a kind of a superhero able to, to do many great yeah, things. Yeah. And indeed, they, they did not disappoint. You did not disappoint. <laughs> Thank you. That's... Emily, you, you want to tell uh, the other characters a bit about yourself? Oh. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a long story for another time. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I'm assuming we're somewhere warm with a fire indoors at this point. Hopefully with some wine, because we're civilized people. Mm. Um. <laughs> Actually, you're on the boat at, the, at this point. You are, you are sailing back to Sesto. Oh, okay. So, same, 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 same rules, though. Like, we're, we're, not, we're not outdoors in the rain or the marsh. No, uh, no, 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 no. Probably we do have some wine. I'm not allowed And if we're all chatting, if they're asking. Um, uh, Emily will kind of sigh, swirl her wine a little, and say... To be completely honest, the only reason I was in that now undamned village, actually, um, was to get that hand. I thought it would please my patron, be a neat little trinket, but apparently it wouldn't have even worked outside that consecrated zone anyway, so I guess it's for the best. It didn't work out that way, but I got to meet you guys, which has been just lovely. I traveled there with a certain <coughs> gentleman who didn't live up to his reputation. We'll leave it at that. He uh, <laughs> went on his way with the first whiff of danger. <clears throat> but I don't regret it. It means I met you all. Yep. And you were dismissed by this uh, big uh, blue guy with uh, uh, shiny uh, skin uh, covered in scale. If you remember well. Say it again? Yeah, I was... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I left, left to my own devices at the most inappropriate time. I was chased by... What was it? Your uncle, Cal? Um, <laughs> uh, 
I was chased in a, well, it was a bit much for a single lady, as I'm sure you can imagine. Okay. And thanks to our- Uncle has that reputation, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, as a lady killer? <laughs> as, a, as a creepy chaser. <laughs> oh my God, this type of uncle, I see. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, well, he will be lady killing no more. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think uh, we are all up to date on uh, that's that's very fun. Uh, I had a, a lot of fun to, to DM uh, these modules. Um, I, I'm ready for the next session. So next week we could, we could start on if it's too much, we can start uh, in two weeks. But I think uh, so, uh, is is good, but uh, it really depends. I think I can manage it. I can manage it, I think. Yeah, it, it really depends on you if we can start a fresh uh, the two week cycle from next week. Um, I think I can manage it. I, I, I hate to throw cold water on this, but while school's in session, it's actually kind of hard for me to do every week. I have to rearrange quite a few things to okay. free okay. up an entire afternoon. Yeah. However, mm. um, Starting on the 18th, although school is still kind of in session because they're trying to make up for lost class time, yeah. I will have vastly reduced um, time. So from the 18th, I could do it every week. I'm oh, sorry, okay. from the uh, 19th, I guess, if it's Sunday, sorry. I'm, I, as, as usual, I can't do every week, as you know, guys. But, no, but uh, that's fine. Let's do it no. in two weeks and uh, we start okay. doing it in two weeks. I'm so sorry. I just get really swamped and exhausted. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> On another note, it has to be fun. if I may, if I may, yes, I'm um, I'm making. Uh, I intend to GM a Shadowrun game. Okay. And I already know that Richard and Robert Robert wants to play it. Okay. And I was wondering if any of you guys would be interested in playing it. I don't have a date yet i'm still making it but oh. just want to know if you're interested in it shadow run is a cyberpunk style game mm. where magic meets machine it's kind of uh, you have elves orcs wizards but you are in the cyberpunk near future yeah. yeah it's a very nice setting Okay, May, I can't speak with my friends. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I so just for time reasons, I, I can't, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I, I, I was wondering speak. since um, we will be looking for new players, but mm. before doing that, I wanted to see if anybody of you was interested. Uh, thanks, I, I, Andrea. I, yeah. I'm interested, but uh, again, uh, as well, for, for time reason, it's a bit difficult. Um... For me to accumulate accumulate uh, stuff, uh, I have other games on uh, as well. Uh, 